Hola, señores and señoritas. I believe we're live. Maybe. Maybe we are. Maybe we aren't. I don't know. But all I know is that if, if we are live, you're going to see the greatest show of your life. And by greatest show of your life, I mean Charles is going to be tasting some whiskey that I sent him in the mail with anonymous letters, and we're going to see how it goes. That's scary I, shit. I'm, I'm so <laughs> scared. It's going to be so good. Right. So here we go. Whiskey Entitled. Let's do this. Boom. Did I run away yet? No. It's it's either going to be really good or you're going to hate everything I sent you. I oh, don't know. It's going to we'll be see. fun, dude. Like, to be honest, the best way for anyone to try whiskey is definitely blind. I think we all talked about that already. So I'm very excited. Oh, my gosh. Four blank bottles with only letters on the bottom. So, and you have not told me what these are. I did tell you what happened with me and Tracy, right? For blind tasting? Yes. But you haven't told the audience. Oh, also, Steve, I gave you blind ones. Those are not the same ones. Those are different ones. I wrote yours down somewhere else. So if you want to taste yours now, you certainly can. But holy crap, I tasted blind with Tracy. Oh, yeah, I changed the topic. My bad. Fucking versus drinking. That was last week, bro. Yeah, my bad. But yeah, no, um, tasted blind with Tracy. We did two bottles, and those bottles were super shocking. Like, blind tasting is incredible and a really, really fun, uh, a fun chance to really see how well your palate's developed. And a really, really fun chance to be surprised when you see the answer for what's going on with your palate. So it's good and stuff. Steve, no. Either way. to match. You're wearing blue. I'm wearing purple. Come on. Oh, I'm wearing navy. Yeah. I just have a lot of light on me. Fair enough. But yeah, so it's going to be fun. Um, a bit nervous, but I think I'm a bit more nervous just because, like, you know, you're trying this in front of people. Plus, you know, my, my notes could be totally off, but um, that's the fun part about it. I get... You get the honest opinion of what I think these are. Or but like. before we do that... What is in your glass? Because I know what's in my glass. Well, I don't technically know what's in my glass, but yeah. Kentucky Owl. Oh, that's what you posted today. So I went to a tasting yesterday. Um, the Scotch Mall Whiskey Society outturn. Mm -hmm. Thought I'd try it. The June thing at Jack Rose. It was a good time. Harvey was there. We had fun. Um, it, was, it was a really good time. Uh, got to try... Eight new bottles. Only one that I liked. I'll probably buy two bottles of that. Although I should have bought them last night. They were on sale. Um, and then there was a table of peated stuff. So I only drank the We've Arrived. Okay. And I already, I already told you, Charles. Yeah. But uh, for everybody else, uh, the lady was like, so how is it? And I was like, oh, it's called We've Arrived. But I feel like everyone else has arrived but me. Because if you're not a peat fan, you're not going to feel any better about it. It's I don't care how many awards it gets. You know, it's one of those well, things. So it's <laughs> It won a double gold. I don't remember as what. Is it single? Is it single multiple award? Probably. I, I don't thought know. it was. I thought it was a peated award. It doesn't even matter to me. It probably won peated, nasty, stank, yeah. cat anus award. So that's, it depends, right? So if it's the best peated, then definitely. But if it's the best whiskey, I'm like, your panel must have had a lot of peated people. Yeah. So. It just had to be that way. I mean, that's the people think of when they think of Scotch whiskey, too. But yeah, so the tasting was really, really good. And I'm sorry. While I was there, there was a guy who was like, hey, we got to talking and he i was like yeah and he was like yeah kentucky owl you gotta try it it's an amazing rye and i was like i'm not really a rye fan but i did buy a bottle and it's just been sitting on my shelf yeah and he's like you gotta crack it open because it's amazing so i cracked it open um right bananas i totally get it i really do uh i haven't had another rye that's like this it does have some rye spice but not in an offensive way mm. and it really is like ripe bananas i kind of want another bottle now. really i I'm not a, I wasn't yeah. a fan, but I'll, I'll have, maybe have to revisit oh, wow. it. It's always nice to know that, you know, other people are trying it and see how it tastes. So that's right. What's in, what's in yeah. your glass? Um, I got four glasses, man. Yeah. And I have no clue what Wait. is in the glasses. Oh, sweet. It's going to be so yeah, good. So, um, oh, let me get it here. My four tasting sets coming in handy now. So there you go. So let's see it. Got Ooh. Four, four guys. So I'm. Yeah, make sure I'm in the right note. But yeah, so it's basically going to go like this. So, This is what I have. All right, so which one's A? A is towards me. So A, B, All right. C, D. It... All right, let's, I guess, start with A. Oh, did you pick up any bottles this week? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay. So I did trade Shimon. I was like, hey, Shimon, do you want some Macallan double cask minis? And he's like, yeah. That's cool. And I was like, sweet. But he traded me for these. Look at these. Oh, the Belvini um, 10, 12, and 15 single cast? Question mark? 
yeah, that's the 10 founders. That's not just the yeah, 10. Shimon and I was like, oh, sweet. So he sent that to me. It comes in like a gift pack. It was amazing. Oh, it comes in I little tubes. I didn't know what to do with my that's life. Awesome. Yeah. It comes in little miniature, miniature balcony tubes. Yeah, that's cool. So I was super impressed by that. So I was like, sweet. And I still haven't sent it out. Shimon, I'm so sorry. I need to go to the shipping store really badly. He's not going to send it. And then also in that container with that, he sent this, which I don't understand. Ooh, going, going. Yeah. Gift bag. Ooh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I think so they had like a Father's Day special bottle too. Oh, did they? Oh, oh I forgot the. Oh, wait. You want to talk about stuff for a second? Time to talk about stuff. So, um, yeah, the Belvini 10 year. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know what 15 he has, so we might have to check back with him on that. But um, to get back to um, some of the tasting stuff, just to let you guys know before Wally gets back, I'm actually really nervous because Wally's, a, I want to say, a semi professional taster dude. So. It's going to be hard for me to navigate these th these things, but um, I guess you guys could see a novice with an expert kind of coaching them through it. So I'm very excited about that. To be honest, like I haven't really gone to any official tasting, sit down tastings, but I do know that Wally has. So hopefully that information translates. I don't know if any of you guys in the chat have actually had like official tastings before run by like a, I don't know, like a professional sommelier or whatever, but I'm very excited. Brand yeah, ambassador. Brand ambassador. There you go. All right. I mean, okay. yeah. Usually the professional tastings are run by brand ambassadors or just people in the industry who've done enough of them. You'd be surprised. But you totally reminded me. You're absolutely right. So I, I'll explain in a second why I didn't. Do this. So Spayburn did in fact send me the 15. Oh, cool. They did in fact customize it with a Happy Father's Day plaque, and it says to Dad, and it says from Wally and Will because no matter how many times I tell them that my brother is not a part of this anymore, they continue to sell and send mail and email with his name on it. So that's whatever. That's neither here nor there. Oh, but here's cool. why I didn't post a picture like everybody else. Everyone else posted a picture because I guess this was a very last minute thing for them. I just got it Saturday afternoon and they wanted pictures done by yesterday or by Monday. Okay. And I was like, there's no way that's not enough time. And you had to order by Sunday to actually get this delivered with the plaque. And I was like, how does this work? I was like, these dates don't add up. So I'll end up taking a picture of it and like talking about it maybe next year for Father's Day. But I really don't understand how the marketing team botched the dates like so, this this year. Is it supposed to be you giving it to your dad? That's what yeah, it sounds so like. So I'll right? take some pictures. Damn. I'll take some pictures and it'll be like me giving it to my dad. But we'll, we'll and see. What's sad is we'll I'm see actually seeing my dad for the first time in eight years. Oh, wow. Well, in eight years. Yeah, in eight years. Not first time, but yeah, seeing him in eight years. So that's, I'm yeah. like, damn, I should have done that. Oh, oh well. Yeah. You get bigger, yo. I, cause it was so last yeah. minute. I I don't understand. They should have given people at least a week or two. That way you have the bloggers who can get at least a couple days to get the picture done. And then, you know, then they have another week and a half so people can actually order one. Damn. Oh, man. It's Eric Lee's going to be do a Levin Wine Blind. That's crazy. Hundreds of pro professional tastings? Oh, like wine tastings? tastings? I haven't cool. done a wine tasting. I've done people like pass it. Like, you know, hey, this is the wine tastes like this. But I've never had like a sit down tasting. That's pretty cool. Wine's a lot more work. Yeah. A lot of less alcohol equals less obvious flavors equals more difficulty in picking out flavors. So sadly for me, um, since I'm saving money right now, um, no bottles, but a crap load of samples. So I'm actually trying to figure out what to do with all the samples. I think while you're probably in the same boat. So uh, either I, and this is just up in the air. I don't know if you guys are want to comment or below, but if you guys could comment on the video saying, hey, what kind of things I could do on Think about either doing like an independent show where me, Wally, or me, or Wally, or anybody just kind of talks about their tasting notes and what they get from the first time for blind. Because most of these stuff, like bottles, like I have no clue what they would taste like. A lot of them are single cast or single independent bottlers. So interested about that or just other shows. Let me know. I want to grow this channel. It's so That's funny. I had thought about doing that with One Minute Whiskeys and having other people, if they wanted to, like go ahead and overtake, you know, yeah. the Instagram for that and then post. But yeah, so. We'll, we'll see. definitely, yeah, yeah. Please Patreon. Um. Oh yeah. Quick thing before I get like really wasted tasting all these whiskeys. Um. So starting this month, um, we're gonna give away a whiskey sample either from my collection or I don't know if Wally wants to as well, but um, to a Patreon supporter, and then just to share or give back the love that you guys have been showing us. So, oh my gosh, that's exactly what I want to do with a Patreon, but you legally can't say that's what you're doing. Uh, so... I'm just sharing it. What we mean is we're Mini meeting up, up with people where they live, and then we're giving it to them after verifying their identification. Yes, and checking their age and all that stuff. 
But yeah, we'll find a ways. Don't worry. We'll find a ways to get something into your I house. feel like we did OB versus IB a few weeks ago, didn't we? Yes, we did. Producer bottled? I OB. We've done independent bottles. Yeah, I don't think we did. we've put them head to head. I feel like we've done IB twice. Did we never do OB versus IB? I don't think we've done a versus for this Ooh. distillery. But yeah, Eric, wait. Great Dude, idea. We'll... Dal Dalmore would get smashed. Dude, OBs agree. are not good compared to the IBs for Dalmore. But that would be a good video. It'd be a good mashup. Yeah. Thanks, Eric. We'll definitely take a note. But yeah, um, More you can donate as little as one dollar to get a uh, sample handed us, handed to you by us. Shimon, you're totally a Patreon supporter. Yeah. We appreciate it. And um, yeah, so <laughs> Steve, you did ID me. We went to a bar, remember? Yeah. Boom. <laughs> um, so where should I start, man? A, B, C, or D? Start with A. You sure. Yeah, I looked at the picture of what all the samples are. I'd start with A. So this is going to be weird because you're going to have to talk while I smell and all that stuff. Uh, a, a or B. It doesn't matter. Um, so go, ahead, go noses? Go ahead and nose noses a. first? Go ahead and nose A. Nose A. So what are you smelling? Alcohol. No. Okay. So if you're smelling a lot of alcohol, keep swirling it around the glass to help evaporate a little, but it's not going to evaporate enough. I'll let it, I'll let it sit for a minute um, too. So. Oh, did you? Yeah. I mean, it's only been sent for like, what, ten, five minutes? 11 minutes um yeah so like like any other tasting take your first sip and it's going to be basically your primer sip okay. that'll get your palate ready for what's about to happen so that's your primer sip just make sure it washes around your entire mouth yep now hopefully you have a bottle of water for the middle no, of this once we but... get through this okay all right so that's just giving you an idea of both the proof of what's going on and anesthetizes your palate and gets you ready all for right. whatever flavors so... so let's nose it okay. again you should be breathing that right now essentially What's a nose like? Um, I'm smelling like, I want to say ripe fruits, more on like the apple side or. or a, oh a really? Plum. Yeah, it's like a red fruit. Steve, yeah, Steve. I tried the Dalmore last night at the um, SWMS tasting they had down in DC in Jack Rose, and it was. It knows really well. It knows incredibly. I was very surprised. I thought it was bourbon. It knows so well, and then. On the palate, it fell a little flat. I wrote it down in some notes. I'm guessing this is a scotch, but I could be wrong. But I think it's a scotch. I mean, you already tried a little. Yeah. What makes you think it's a scotch? It's just complexity. It's the nuance. Are you really getting apple, or are you really getting more like? Don't, don't judge me. Are you getting apple? Okay, so what what kind of apple? Let's say that then. Um, and that's why I'm like I'm debating whether it's a red fruit, it's an apple or not, but I'm thinking. And Steve, yes, I added water to all of them. To this, to this one? No, 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 no. He's talking about the the single malt, the Scotch malt whiskey society ones last night. Hmm. I added water to all of them except for the we've arrived. That one I just got uh, took a little sip of it. Didn't okay, like the it. The alcohol's it vapors are gone basically, so it's not strong enough anymore. All right, so what are you smelling now? I'm getting hints of wood at well in the back, but that's just a little bit of yeah. oak. That's, I mean, but it's the thing, the thing is, like, that's the, like with me with bourbons, I get more of an oaky thing. That's why I don't think it's a bourbon. Hmm. That's a that's a deduction that I have in my mind. So it's quite a bit more smooth. Yes. That's an interesting deduction. I don't judge anything like that. I always think oak could be in anything. It could be a scotch or so. With me with bourbons, I I can chew the wood a lot more. Scotch test dummies. Hello. It's scotch test dummies. How you guys doing? You can chew the wood a lot more in your typical bourbons. bourbons. I've had bourbons where you can't chew any wood at all. I think that's why I like weeders so much, because you're not getting a ton of wood oak. But it depends on the bourbon, too, because I've had that Knob Creek that doesn't taste oaky at all, and it's like a 12-year, and it's awesome. But it's like a single barrel pick. Okay, I'm getting vanilla so, now, so maybe I'm wrong. Ooh, ooh, a little vanilla, little little apple. Yeah. I like where this is going. Both those things together are baller. Take another sip. I'm getting a bit of a dryness to it. Oh, so fast you you swallow. You have to like like let it coach your mouth. Give it like 15 seconds All or right. so, maybe 20. I don't know. I give it half a minute. I can't help it. That's what I usually do. Try to hold it for a while. Yeah, just give it some time. So anytime, yeah, it's a. So anytime that I'm trying a new whiskey, like especially like last night, which I'm pretty sure by like seven whiskeys, I was already my palate was already. Hmm. But um, anytime I'm trying a new whiskey, um. 
that that's the time to again take your primer sip and then a second sip you should really just mull on it like sit there let it sit in your mouth for a while let your saliva dilute it bring it down especially if it's high proofed um and just gives you a much better idea of what's going on flavor wise i think that helps a lot so eric yeah i agree with you with corn with bourbon you tend to get very very sweets because it's just how corn is. Corn conveys so much like that. I'm getting a lot of very creamy, like a dry wood. I very vanilla like. So what's weird is the start with the nose was very, I guess, easy smelling, mm-hmm. um, gentle, and then yeah. when you mentioned that, hey, keep it in your mouth more. I got more of like a bit of a, a bit of a heat, a bit of a spice. Mm-hmm. So. For my brain, it sounds or it tastes and smells like a scotch, tastes like a bourbon. And then. Smells like a scotch, tastes yeah, like a bourbon. Yeah, and then just <laughs> runs. To be honest, hardly any finish. It's more of a little spice at the end with a little wet wood. Does that make sense? I don't like how heated it is, personally, but. It's not as hot as I thought it was, but then when you made me sit and like take like 10 seconds or so, it started heating up yeah so that's how that's how some of them are that's why whiskey is like such a such a subjective thing do you want to know what it is first or no, no, keep no, moving? Keep moving, keep moving. okay so get some water then you want some water in between these two because when you go to b it's okay. going to be completely so different i world. can't hear you because i'm taking my headphones off getting water you can tell the f- okay. viewers what it is if you want it's up to you okay so. yeah i'm gonna put solo wally so i can't hear i'm getting water if you say Hey, as just so you know, the first whiskey was actually Pappy Van Winkle 15. And it was interesting just to see what he went through with that. So um, I'm not going to spoil what the rest of them are, but maybe we'll just make him go get water every time like this. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, <laughs> it's kind of interesting to hear him analyze it that way. It's very right, weedish to me. It's um, very I'm heated. Put my headphones on a sec. Can you <laughs> it's coming give back. me a thumbs up if I can? Um, can I, <laughs> All right. Can so. I, okay, cool. <clears throat> All right, yeah, he'll be back. All right. So. Hopefully you guys please don't that. put it in the comments. Get this started out. Don't put, it in, don't don't put it in the comments. the comments. <laughs> don't, don't put it in the comments because. Actually... Well, we'll we'll talk about it. Yeah, every time you go get water, we'll talk about whatever okay. it is. We'll okay. see how this yeah, goes. Don't, don't. I think that'll make it a little more exciting. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so uh, get your headphones on and let's get ready okay. for round two. All right, cool. Hope you guys had the insight. That was pretty cool. Whatever this was. That's all you just see. Wow, right there. I know. I'm like, Eric. thanks, Eric. Okay. All, all right. right, going for letter B. Don't I don't I saw well, son of a bitch is like two. Eric, don't don't tell him. Eric, you you ruined it. I can't see it, so I'm not looking at it. Did he say it? All right, we're I'm going. Hiding. We're going for B. No, read what he said because it's uh, funny. Oh, it's a sperm sample. Oh, thanks, thanks, man, thanks. I was like I was like legit like hiding it and shit. I'm like I don't. Dude, best tasting sperm in your life. All right, so were you drinking also, scotch or bourbon when have... that happened? Oh my Let gosh, yes. <laughs> so, all right, B. Let's get into this. All right, oh, so. FYI, had... I'm not judging anything by the color, so I'm not even. I'm That's not even fine. Uh, color would only tell you like what kind of. Well, what color you're applying this. Color would kind of apply. In this. I personally don't, so that's just me. All right, so uh, let's see. Let's go. On, let's go on to B. So what do you what do you smell on the nose? I smell my burp, to be honest. No, I mean if you need to reset your nose palette, just smell your elbow. Santa Cruz, what's up? <laughs> We've already done the first blind tasting. You missed out on that, but we're moving on to blind next, tasting so. B. So. All right. So it's not peated. I don't know. I'm sure. Um, it's not peated. Wow, this. Because I'm gonna send you something peated. I don't hate you. <laughs> maybe, maybe after this one, you will. Um, <laughs> man, that's <clears throat> weird. Yeah, it's a bit of an oddball. Oddball. Okay, so uh, this is gonna sound really weird, but this the smell, and I know like alcohol smells like everything, but um, in Asia you get this weird rubbing alcohol, and it's very light and subtle. So it's mm-hmm. not like um, like normal disinfectant alcohol. It reminds me of that when I was a kid. What else do you smell? Here, help your smell out. Take a little primer sip. Yeah. <clears throat> schnozberries. Tastes like schnozberries. It's legit. Story of a creepy old man trying to kill children slowly. What do you get now? I'm getting grapes, but that's weird. You're getting grapes? Yeah. That's interesting. That's why I said it's weird. Eh, it's not that weird. It could be anything. 
I mean, you got semen on the first one, so we'll see how this one goes. That's semen, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> smells like straight jizz. <laughs> All right. Kid-friendly show. Yeah, with cat's anuses. <laughs> yeah, cat's anus. Super kid-friendly. I mean, kids are always trying to touch cat's yeah, anuses I'm, I'm, anyways. I don't know if it's my mind, but I'm just I'm getting like a green grape juice. Green grape yeah. juice. All right. I'll take that. How about you take another sip? Hold it in your face for like 20 seconds and that kind of thing. That's a distraction, so I was like, ugh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, take a good sip. Whiskey in the six. Hello, hello. So, uh, there you go. Now you're on. This is B. This is excellent. Yep. There you go. Sample B. And you're getting a good sip of that. So, just get it all around. I, I'm surprised that you're getting, like, a little bit of very specific type of alcohol smell, like medicinal alcohol and, uh, <laughs> All right, that's funny, Eric. <laughs> All right, and you're getting the the green grapes, <clears throat> but uh, yeah. I'm getting a weird smoke at the end. It too. Like... It's not strong. It's very light. Oh, so like smoke? That's interesting. Not like, how can I explain it? Um, like a dusting of smoke in the back, but my but my pouts. To help you out, out I know. That, to help you out, like uh, when I actually when I taste this, I get vegetal notes, very grassy. And very like almost like fresh clipped weeds, like while you're mowing the lawn. Taste or smell? Yes, mostly taste though. In taste, I can. I want. I've never eaten weeds before. I don't know if you have. Oh, if you mow the lawn, you can. But, just, you're but breathing I can, it in. Sorry, I have allergies. But I can. I can see the weed part. Not the. Not like the early grass dew, but I can see weed. I can. No, not like dew. That's what, I mean, that's like what I'm saying. The, like I'm saying like the the grass. Not like, you know, people say, oh, it's newly cut grass. It's not that for me. Yeah. To me, it's vegetal. I can see that, but it's not it's not as strong as I, I think you think it is for me anyway. Now, the first one was like 54%. This one's like uh, 43. So it's a totally different boat. Do you mean by... Although age, do you care about age wise? Should we be revealing ages? I don't really care age, but I, I, I right. um, okay. So I, I can taste the like, fact that it's definitely it smells like CBD. So when you mean vegetal for you, do you mean plant like? Yeah, when I say yeah. vegetal, I yeah exactly specifically plants and greenery. I don't ever mean like if I mean floral, I'll say floral. Okay. If I mean like certain types of plants, I'll specifically name them. Okay. But if I'm talking just like greenery in general. I always think of weeds when you're cutting the grass because it's just a mix of whatever hodgepodge yeah. garbage is on the ground. I can see it as a like a plant, green plant. It actually reminds me of rye. I don't, I don't get spice. Like Sagamore's rye. I don't rye, get spice spices, rye. That. I can't I can't get spices in this at all. I get no spice. No, 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 no. Sagamore's rye specifically oh. is very vegetal. It reminds me of what not, you're drinking. It doesn't smell like not weed. Sag- no. Not marijuana. Funny. But yes. <laughs> it smells like good old cannabis oil. All right, so we got to move on from this one. So you got a sip of that. You ready to go get some water? Yeah, headphones off. We'll do this again. I want to see you take your headphones off. I'm not doing it until you take your headphones off. I think you put them down. Ah, there we go. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so everybody else. So round one was the uh, PVW 15. Round two it was the Bren 10. So if you guys have ever tried the Bren 10, it's nothing like the classic. The classic is bubble gum. The classic is uh, like you know banana runs. Like Steve's tried it, all that stuff. But the Bren 10, a lot of people say Bren 10 tastes like all kinds of stuff. But I don't know if I got an early batch that wasn't that great or what. But it just tastes like like super vegetal, and I'm actually not a fan. I told Allison this personally, so I don't feel too bad saying it on a whiskey show. But uh, yeah, so we're getting ready for round C. We'll see how this goes. Ooh, Balvenny 15 and Kleinlish 14. Let me know when you're, uh, you're good, both. man. Give me a thumbs up. Yep, cool. So, oh, oh, let me get my headphones on. So, in Asia, there's a thing called a vicacent oil, which is like a medicinal type. Kind of, like kind of a oil? Vic- a vicacent oil, I think it's called. It's like green. Okay. It's a bit alcoholy. It's for like r- massages and rubbing alcohol kind of stuff to get not Saudi about hmm. it. That's what it got for me. That's the smell. Get some knots out of your body. Whiskey will get knots out of your body if you drink but, enough. Okay, so out of A and B, I prefer A more. I can't see your face. Oh, shit, sorry. I can't right. see your face. So, with... Yeah, oh, so I prefer A more at this at this point in time. Which I don't blame you for. Okay. 
That's not abnormal. Uh, also, for you guys who joined late, don't reveal Please what don't the answers me. are in chat. Just uh, we just roll with it. All right, so let's move on to C. You got some water. We're yep. good. The 15 sherry. Was it actually the 15 sherry, or was it a 22 Ooh. sherry with 15, 15 sticker on? Mm, I like this one. Santa Cruz, or Welsh rather. Oh, what? You smelled C and you like yeah. it? Yeah, I like this. It's deep, oh, dark, rich fruits. Good. Yeah, dark fruits. Yeah. Sounds good. Mm. Who doesn't like dark fruits? Ooh, I can't pinpoint it, but it. I like this one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Why don't you give that palate a little primer all right. sip? I'm all, I'm all great. This is really good. All right, so small wise, yeah, small little wise. primer sip. Wait. Yeah, no, the nose. I smelled C and I liked it. Wait till he smells the D and he likes it. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, kid friendly show. <laughs> smelling the D. All right. All right. <laughs> no, don't don't put it against your face like that. You're not trying to make a movie and you're not on a casting couch. All right. <laughs> all right. All right, a little primer sip of C. So, yeah. So what else are you nosing? I mean, you nose, obviously, you said dark fruits, which makes me think of one thing, but we'll see. Yeah, sherry. We'll oh, see how this goes. Sherry. Oh, you, you would say sherry, but I don't – what dark fruit, I don't know. Does it smell sherried? No. It does – well, There's like a what's, what's crazy of... is I taste this. I taste, <laughs> I taste this already, so the spice is not crazy, so I don't know if it's sherry or not. Ooh. Ooh, that's interesting. Because, yeah, like, I still get a little tingle, but the 90 Bal Blair gives me more, more spice. Or sherry spice. <laughs> All right, coach uh, me through, bro. That's interesting that you said. Coach me through. All right, well, this one is, uh, I mean, I thought you were on the right path there. You were talking about how it's a little bit of uh, dark fruits, sherry spices, and this to me sounded like. That's the direction we were going. No, it's a still the direction, so but it's not as you... sherry. It's not as sherry as I thought it is. So either it's the age. Oh my gosh. Or not. ADD chat going on with these people makes me think of like holding a baby and smelling diapers, because that's where you smell the A. But yeah, no. Uh, so yeah, no. Uh, just exactly. I mean, you're nosing everything that I would have gotten out of it. You might smell some, especially apple notes to it. I, I'm thinking, uh, but I'm thinking green apples, not red apples. Yes. Okay. That, that's what I'm. Yes, that's what but I'm I think that all the time when I get stuff that's a little more sherry. Oh, really? Just the way it when is. I so for me that's when I I get more like a, uh, a like a red Fuji. Oh like really? A, you know, like when you um, cut in open an apple, Ooh, crisp, like right open like. Oh my gosh, honey crisp. Like I get that. That's yeah. when I think of red apple. With green apple, yeah. I think like apple pie for some reason. Even though I know different apples are used for apple pie. Yeah, you usually use a Granny Smith. Okay, so. But you're making me want to eat some honey just, crisp. Just to let right you know, I felt really dumb good. with A and really dumb with B, but C, I'm actually feeling a bit smart. Ooh, look at that. I mean, it's just meaning that I, I know, well, I have a feeling that I've tasted either this before or I've tasted something similar like this before. And to be honest, that's what yeah. tasting is all about, right? So. Yeah. Okay. Come, come on, shove some of that in your face. Right. Put that in your mouth for 20 seconds and uh, observe the meld of flavors inside of your mouth. I mean, I could, like, walk people through what it is you're tasting, but that seems a little silly. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to let you suck on that whiskey for a little while. <laughs> so, yeah. So you should be getting all kinds of good flavors in there. I mean, it'll be easier for you to tell in a second. I'm going to go to chat. I've never even heard of the Balvenie 15 bourbon, but I'm kind of sad that I okay, have it. So I, I, I do definitely feel this is a sherry something. now because leaving it longer in my, my mouth, I'm getting a lot more prickly spices on top yeah. of my lip like sherry spices so what's weird is with rice spice i get it back in here for sherry spice i get it around here i don't know why that is yeah maybe it's the way i'm swirling it i don't know i smell you smell traditional irish whiskeys and you get candy granny smith apples and jolly ranchers i've heard jolly oh, ranchers before on on irish whiskeys i had a good time with irish whiskey. i smell jolly ranchers with freaking brook laddy black art 5.1 because it is Jolly Ranchers. I was talking to another guy about this. At the finish, I'm getting dryness that I get from like sherry finished or wine finished whiskeys. Ooh. I mean, sherry is a wine. It's fortified, yeah. but whatever. I like this one. I really like this one. Yeah. yeah. You like, like that one? one? All right. Um, earphones are off. Wash my palate. Unless you want to talk more about this one. Yeah. Yeah. No. Wait till you take your earphones Sorry, off. Sorry. It's going to be a longer show, guys. We apologize. Also, Steve, All you're right. probably absolutely right. I didn't mean to crush Allison's spirits with I would teach you guys. All right, my headphones are off, dude. It's all you. Um, don't speak yeah. too loud because I might hear it. But yeah. Yeah, yeah I didn't mean to crush Allison's soul with the uh, 
Or I can't. I was telling her the Bren 10 wasn't my jam. I just just came into the Bren 10. It's just the way it was. Um, discontinue your replacement with a 15 share. Yeah, discontinue just means you have to look harder to find it. That's all. But <laughs> I'm definitely going to look for that. So the last one we just tasted the C that he just tried was the Glenn Farkless 25. So we've only got one more to go. And I guess I can tell you guys now. Just don't ruin it, but it's old Pulteney 21. So, yeah. So that's all four of the samples that I sent him for this batch just to see how it would go. Um, give me a thumbs up, man, when you're ready. Sherry is made from Palomino grape. All right, cool. Specifically Palomino grape. All right. All right, guys. Cool. A piece of soil. Man, you really know your freaking wines. Eric? Eric? Oh, man, that guy, dude. If I need... Is it only Palomino grape, though? Like, are there no other grapes that they use to make sherry? Is that at all? why there's a sherry? Oh. Cool. I didn't know that. Sherry's not my jam. I do like ports, but I couldn't tell you what kind of grapes they're made from specifically. Oh, yeah, and just uh, a clarification from last week's episode. Yes, I was dumb that I thought the 90 was a port finish. So just if you guys didn't listen to that one. But I realize how <laughs> much how me. much of a fan I am of port finish whiskeys, though. Oh well, that's probably why you like the uh, PX and Moscato. Oh, PX, so good. Whoa, I knew that takes some lots of. I mean, the port finish is probably why you like a Virginia Distillery port finish. I still feel bad for not endorsing them like don't, all of the other IG. Don't feel bad, man. If you don't like it, don't like it. I don't like actually it. feel bad. I don't actually feel bad. I feel bad that I. Can't say more positive th things about it to be nice. Well, because um, in reality, I their cider cask is the only one that I've been like, oh, this is pretty good. And all the rest, I'm like, mm, meh. To be honest, like every palette's different, right? Like I personally liked it more yeah. than you did, and there's a few people that said, yeah, I did like it, Charles. And now, there are a lot of people who love it. Okay, I don't, I don't love it, but it's good for the price. <laughs> like I'd rather have the Belvini 21 year old, but that's different, right? Yeah. So, but like, it just makes me feel like I'm tasting something weird in it that nobody else hey, is dude, getting. If, I hate if that we feeling. Didn't, understand from my freaking letter a i definitely blind is the way to go okay oh, uh, ooh, concert master two. Oh, that's pretty rough steve oh uh d uh, d uh so yeah no uh yeah put that d in your face uh and enjoy the smell of that d <laughs> nose that d as hard as you can <laughs> kid friendly show all right so uh you yeah, know, <laughs> yeah, don't don't hit your face with the D. All right, so <laughs> Tomatin 14, I have it's not. pretty good. I've had the old expression and the new one. And I've had Tomatin freaking 12 year Oloroso from a straight cask. And so this is where I get green apples fun, from, man. I'm getting green apples from this one. Oh, green apples are legit in this one. I completely agree with you. It's definitely a lot lighter than what I was smelling with the yeah. C. I agree with you completely about it, giving the Balvenia a run for its money, especially considering like Thanks for spoiling it, 60 bucks for. Do you spoil it? What? No, we're talking okay. about we're talking about like, something you else. Spoil it? What? No, we're talking about no, we're we're having another conversation over here, have over here, and you you you're doing that don't thing smell, over there. Don't do it. Oh, sorry, we should be talking to you too. So yeah, you said you smell green apple. What else do you smell? Anything uh, interesting? I just smell green green. Also, fruits. kind of appropriate because it's the D. Do you smell any salinity? <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Oh my gosh! And it's very light. I, I, maybe even floral like, but I'm oh, leaning yeah, more no, towards the that. the green fruit. Yep, it's definitely apple. -y. It's so so good. Little pear, little apple. Okay, yeah. Get your sip in so you can get an idea of what's going on there. <laughs> Who's being nasty? Tell me about it. Hmm. <clears throat> I solidified my um my oh, green wow. apple. Yeah, the spice is about. Maybe even a cinnamon spice. Ooh. I see. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> Steve's trying to help you along. He got red apples and salt with that one. Oh, <clears throat> he knows what this is? They do? Oh, okay, cool. I don't know if you told them early. Shit. I feel bad. No, I really do get salt with that one, too. I wasn't joking about the salinity. No. Oh. PX exclusively in Montana. Red apples and salt. I get green apples. Awesome. We're in the apple. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Didn't know what? Every style of sherry is made from PX and Montilla. But they can't all call themselves sherry. Oh, uh, Amontillado. Yes. Can we get some of that? You can keep the Fino. It's too dry. Oloroso is good, too. I I'm love the flavors of Oloroso. But, oh, my gosh. Amontillado. I think this is a... Yeah, Wells Toro. Thank you so much for pointing this information out. Is this out. like a bourbon cast finish? 
or American? Um, I'm being an asshole. Cause I, you can... No, yes, it is. It's ex bourbon. I get. I really get green apples, Steve. I don't know why. It's like a sweet green. But yeah, yeah like, I mean, like I mean, even apple juice. Apples. apples. Like a baby's apple juice. Yeah, eh, it's not that. It's not Spayburn. No offense, Spayburn Ten that tastes like apple juice without alcohol. Um, okay, so overall, my favorite has to be letter C. Oh wow! Then you're not even gonna give this one a, an honest an honest sip. I did. Yeah. Oh, did you? Oh, my bad. Oh, I didn't know how long you're tasting. I was talking yeah. to these people. <laughs> Your favorite was C out of all four of these. This one really tastes like apple-y. Uh huh. But um, for my let me ask you uh, this. Let me uh, ask you this. So for C, I mean for for D that you just tasted, would you pay a hundred? I'm guessing this is Snow Phoenix. That? That's what I'm guessing it is. Would Would you pay one hundred and fifty dollars for it? Um. Yeah, I would. <clears throat> I would. Would you? Because this is what it goes for. It's it's no longer being is made. It Snow Phoenix? Did I call it out? <laughs> no. Okay. It's not Snow Phoenix. You're not even close. I never tried it, so I'm assuming. <clears throat> It's old pool, only twenty one. Oh, oh, let's, let, okay. So you told me that one. Let's go. For, let's go to A. What's what was A? No, no, no. Uh, let's, let's. I'm playing this game. Oh. So for C, okay. for C, C, would you pay one hundred and seventy dollars for C? To be fair, I paid two hundred fifty dollars for C, but it's because I didn't know DC prices were going to rate me in the butthole. One hundred and seventy dollars. <throat> Sorry, I'm looking at the back. Cadiz. That's where they make... Oh, I thought that's where Sherry's made for McKellen. How much did I pay? Oh. At F. I would, but I wouldn't like it. You would what? I would what? buy it. You I would pay, pay, I would pay 170 would but like I would be like, unless it had a higher age statement, I wouldn't be happy with it. It is Glenfarclas 25. I'm not a big fan of Glenfarclas, so that's very interesting. Oh. No joke, I'm... You I should, hated. I should have sent you a flyer there. I love their seventeen. The, anything below fifteen, I hated everything. Oh wow! Like legit. So they're they're twelve, they're one hundred and five, and they're seventeen. Charles is learning something. Awesome. So awesome. That's cool. Good. So yes, I would. Right, B. 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 Would you pay a hundred dollars for no. B? Hi Richie, we're almost done today. You missed out on all the good stuff. I promise like, you. Bro, I get you like go back and watch. I get like massage oils and. Stuff. It's weird. It, it brings me back to childhood, so that's kind of cool. Would you drop a Benjamin for it? I've dropped a Benjamin for a lot crappier. Damn, dude. So I, I probably would. That is Bren 10. Wow, the smell, dude. I don't get bubblegums. No, that's classic Bren that's bubblegum. Bren 10 to me is straight vegetal. Hmm. It reminds me of Sagamore Rye, which is also straight vegetal. Awesome. And I have either of them. So I would have bought it, but just because that smell, that smells so different. Yeah, if you like the 12 and the 105, Scott, you'll love the 17. That's legit. Cool. All right. All right. Are you ready for A? I'm ready for A. What would you pay What would you pay for A? For A, 130 and below? Would you Would you pay 900? Fuck no. What is it? PVW 15. What? PVW Papi Van Winkle oh, really? 15. Huh. I mean, I paid 160, but a lot of people are paying 900. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. No wonder it's a small ass tiny <clears throat> bottle. Look, it's cheap ass. That's cool. For one sixty, it's fine. But yeah, so like like I rated it. I I rated the Glenfarcus twenty five as my top, then A, then I would have given D and uh, B. Yeah, give it the D. So, awesome. Oh, thanks, man. No, I, for some weird reason, the the A, I can see why people would, would want a Pappy just because of the smell to taste. For yeah. me, it was like it was light as a scotch, but bourbon throughout. But then once that's funny hearing you describe th it. This is funny, right? Once I've left it, and I didn't know what it was, but when you were talking and stuff like that, I, I took smells of <clears> each of them. <throat> this one smelled like a bourbon at the end, and I don't know if it's just because it was left out longer, or just because it's got a little bit left. But then it started smelling like a bourbon. Yeah, which is weird, because like at the start I was like, this has got to be a scotch. This, this makes no sense. Why numbers instead of letters? Letters were so much more fun. Let's be serious. Yeah, he really wanted me to say the, the D. 
That, that's that's the reason yeah, why I, I said didn't four. expect it to be so. I did not expect it to be so funny, but it was amazing. <laughs> that's the reason why Scott and stuff a, change it all the time. C, D. Scott, you know how it is, man. You guys always talk about the D. Habs, you are late to the party. I'm sorry. But yeah, you will laugh about this later. I have to admit, like to be honest, this was really fun. I do know personally, my nose is not as advanced as most people's, so it's a bit harder for me to smell stuff. But I do enjoy the palate. I suck at smell. So. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Did you guys enjoy it? Let us let us know. Smelling the A. Yeah. Did you guys enjoy watching him take down all that D? Yeah. Watching all that D is very interesting. It's different, to be honest. Or like, did you did you enjoy him smelling the A the most? And it's a bit hard too, because like Wally's got to hold the whole thing while I'm just sitting there chewing something, which is kind of weird. Ah, eh, that's easy peasy. Yeah. You just got to talk about whatever it is that you're going with, or get distracted by chat, which is absolutely incredible oh, today. And, you guys uh, are being Rob. Troops. Do you have a show later today? We were not sure. I gotta hit you up more. Somebody just said he just said he yes, did. right? I, I wasn't watching the chat. So Steve, Steve just said what I always say. So he said PVW fifteen is so much vanilla to me. To me, it's also vanilla and it's a wannabe twenty three, but it falls flat when the heat kicks in. To me, it's twenty three plus way too much fire. Like when I really, 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 really want to relax, like I would love to just kill the twenty three. Because that oh. stuff is straight vanilla bomb. I, all these people who complain about the oak, I don't get it. You're adding water. Like, if you add water to it, it's I, horrible. I personally... But without water, it's so with vanilla. With the 15, I did get oak at the end, but it was more of a dryness oak. But it wasn't off-putting. It's not off-putting. To me, the heat is more off-putting than anything. Yeah. I was really shocked by how hot the 15 is. And it's only a couple points higher than stinking the... Oh, and um, guys, give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below if you guys enjoy this blind tasting. Um, it's a new concept. We're thinking of seeing how it goes. So if we get more likes and more comments about how good it was, we're more than happy to do it again, and even with guests and stuff like that. So, I mean, we'll probably just do it again anyways. Let's be serious. It's nice to give us thumbs <laughs> so up. so much fun. Uh, but yeah, no, I, to be honest, it was fun. Um, maybe next time do a... Uh, we can do like more of a journey one where you can kind of guide me through because some of them I kind of got like, especially at the end, I kind of got the stuff, but the A and B was so different from what I've tried. I just didn't want to give you too many hints. And yeah, those are worlds apart. You went from like a straight vanilla bourbon with heat to a vegetal, yeah. completely different monster. It was very surprising, like how different these two were. And then once it started getting to the, um, the C and D part, it's, it, they, they tasted familiar. Yeah, they're so much more subtle. Yeah, so it's like these are things that we've tried before or like I've tried personally before, so that was pretty cool. But um, yeah, yeah, Wally, cool. thank you again so much for sending me these samples, man. It's been fun. I got to ask you later to figure out what these are so I can label them. Bring Tracy in live sometime? That would be interesting. We could probably do that when she's not jet setting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's traveling the world now. Yeah, she's always yeah. traveling. But um, yeah, no – um. Thank you so much. Um, I still admit that even if I know what they are, I definitely feel as though <laughs> I was a fan of the, uh, the letter C there. Kid-friendly show. Yeah, I got to put like D's. Every single letter is going to be D-A or D-B, D-D. <laughs> Not even. This is D-1, D -D. this is D-2. Yeah. Or... We're putting we're putting D-1 through 3 yeah. all in the yeah. A. <laughs> Not a good time. Not what we expect. No. Airtight. All right. <laughs> Why are my samples <laughs> airtight? Oh, God. Why are my samples labeled A, D, and P? What is happening? The DP there. Oh my gosh. All right. So uh, if you guys like this, let us know. Um, again, uh, if you guys are a Patreon supporter, you can do as a dollar um, a month. You can limit that. We will go in the drawing for us to visit you and give you a sample. So that'd be kind of cool. Um, I won't get the D out of my face. <laughs> that's you know what the one thing that was holding me back from signing up and making a patreon what? for my own scotch and sniff youtube is because i didn't want to be the illegal guy who's like i want to send samples to the people because what i'd like to do is have people donate and then when they donate through patreon buy bottles that i can share with everyone i thought that'd be an amazing idea but if we do it here first and we don't go to jail i'll do it on scotch and sniff too so i'm a test dummy and to be honest, if you're in another country as well, we'll we have friends all over the world. We'll we'll try and get you guys a maybe even a cheap bottle or a mini sample, Ooh, or we can send sample. you something. That'd be interesting. Bottle toppers, maybe maybe if we do a bottle toppers or something. Oh, don't get me started. All right, all right, sample time. Um, oh no, I should do the flight thing. That'd be better. You should. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Louder than I thought it would be. 
Hi. But yeah, thank thank you guys so much. I know this is a different bit different, but um, thank you to Wally for keeping the chat entertained and. Oh, I'm glad that Well Shore liked it. That's exciting. Yeah. To be honest, guys, um, in all honesty, it was a bit nerve wracking for me. I know this is going a bit long, but it was a bit nerve wracking for me because I personally don't think I'm the best taster. But I like finishes and palettes, like we mentioned before. So can't see it, man's green. Glen going. I'm sad about it. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And um, just to Steve. And could we have a moment of silence for um, Wally's glass that perished today? Oh my gosh! I was. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> it's that you have. It's never no happened to me yet. Idea. By the way, wood. I've never dropped broken a glass yet. No, uh, if I do Christmas cards, they're probably going to look something like this. They'll be clear, see-through. They'll have the Scotch and Sniff logo. Yeah. Don't worry, Greeny. You're going to see it in the live feed. And to be honest, it'd probably be better because then you can hear stuff that I didn't hear because I'm going to watch it again too. Yeah. Actually, that'll be way better to see that way. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for um, in, uh, joining us. Um, Rob will be on in, what, 30 minutes or an hour? So we'll see you guys there. And um, Wally, what do we say, man? Peace. Deuces.